Robbie here. Um, just doing this video because I've got some really, really sad news. I've heard the rumours that have been going around regarding Claude, that Claude has passed away. And um, I wanted in, in this video to just confirm that that, that news is true. Um, he has passed away. It's really, really sad. I'm just totally devastated at the news. I got the news last night. So, um, at around about nine o'clock, a um, friend of ours, Helen, who you see on the station, who you see on AFTV, um, she, she rents a property to Claude and um, she alerted me to the fact that, you know, he had passed away. Um, we then spent the next few hours trying to get in contact with Claude's family. Um, we managed to let his dad know. We didn't manage to get hold of um, or um, get hold of his um, other family members until today. And we didn't want the news to come out before the family knew the news. But um, the family do now know the news. And um, it's really, really sad. Claude, what can I say? Um, as you know, he was no longer on AFTV but we were still friends. We still spoke regularly. Um, I remember speaking to him on <laughs> several occasions. I remember, you know, Claude messaging me at Christmas when I had COVID um, saying, Robbie, I heard you've got COVID. How are you feeling? Stuff like that. And I said, I'm fine. Um, I was then messaged him and was speaking to him a few weeks after, and he was saying to me that he hadn't been well. He'd been he'd, he'd had a, a few um, health issues. I'm not on about mental health issues, but a few few health issues. And I remember him saying to me that you know he'd been in bed for three weeks um, because he'd forgotten to take his medication. And I was telling him off and saying, "Come on, Claude, man, take your medication, bro. Take it." Um, and I know that he'd been having quite a tough time during this lockdown. He, he Claude was Arsenal through and through, and he just missed being at Arsenal games. He missed the camaraderie of being at games. And um, during the lockdown, he told me, he goes, Robert, I'm finding lockdown a bit difficult. I'm enjoying doing the videos and that, but I want to go to games. I want to be out and about. And... Um, yeah the ironic thing about it is that um he you know helen was saying to me that he went out for a walk last week and actually on that walk he met frank mcclintock you know, arsenal legend from back in the 70s and was having a great talk with him and, that, and he was in really really good spirits um but sadly he has passed away and i'm absolutely gutted everybody here at AFTV, and I'm sure every Arsenal fan and football fans around the world will be absolutely gutted and devastated at the news. Um, Claude wasn't perfect. We know that, right? None of us are perfect. But Claude, one thing I can say to you about that guy, he had a heart of gold. I've got so many great memories of him. Um, I remember going on a tour with him in France one time, and when we got over there, he lost his wallet. He had no money. And I said, Claude, don't worry, man. I've got you, man. I've got you. you know I mean, the hotel's booked anyway, and I've got you. And he kept like, the whole trip, he kept saying, Robbie, I'll pay you back. I said, I don't want you to pay me back. It's cool. And he was so worried. And I'm like, what? Stop worrying. You know, my memory of when a few seasons ago, I did this um, walk around the Premier League clubs in London. Um, at the start of the season to raise awareness and raise money for um, Prostate Cancer UK. And Claude joined me on the walk about a quarter of the way through. He joined me. And I remember he turned up on the day and he had his shoes on, not trainers, shoes. I've got, yo, where are you going with those? You know, those shoes, hard leather soles and that. I've got, where you go? You can't walk around with those. And he said, no, 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 Robbie, I'm here to support this cause. You know, we've got to raise money for this cause. And he was walking and I remember like he was struggling a bit because even I was getting tired and I, and I was like, Claude, you know what? You've done brilliantly. Just you've completed a whole day on it. Just meet me at the end of it. 
you know, you've done brilliant. And he was like, no, he insisted that he wanted to do the whole thing. And he walked around in his shoes. And I remember at the end of it, we got him a pair of trainers. And yeah, oh, so many memories, you know, of being at football games with him. And he's a guy that taught me about mental health, you know. Um, I was quite dismissive of mental health until I met Claude. And then I saw the issues that he'd go through and he explained to me. And I started to learn about mental health. I actually went to um, a mental health expert and said to him, listen, I need to learn about this so that, you know, if somebody is going through these issues, I know how to respond better. Um, and, you know, that was because of Claude. And it's so sad. It's so sad, you know. Um, I remember... What about no, it was about six weeks ago, you know, I think at the time there was a few people reaching out to me and saying, Robbie, it looks like he's having a few issues. I rung him up and I said, Claude, what's up? I've heard that, you know, there's a few mental health issues that are going on. And he said to me, No, 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 Robbie, I'm all right. It's just that, you know, um, it was around about the anniversary of his mum's passing, and he said, I'm missing my mum. And, um, <clears throat> yeah, he said, I'm missing my mum. And that's why I posted what I posted. But I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not trying to commit suicide or nothing like that. And then I and then I was saying to him, yeah, you know what, Claude, I know you're feeling, you know. Um, my dad, so nearly a year since I lost him. As a matter of fact, this weekend is going to be a year. I said, it's nearly a year since I lost him. And I know how you're feeling. I know how you're feeling when you lose, like, you know, your mum or your dad, you know. And, you know, we had some nice words about it. And Guy had a heart of gold. He had a heart of gold. And as I said, you know, I've got nothing but love for him. You know, we never, contrary to you see rumours out there about falling outs and stuff like that, we we still spoke there were so many things that went on between me and him behind the scenes that are private and will always be private and all i say is we've lost ourselves a real genuine guy and we've lost ourselves a massive arsenal fan i'd love arsenal to do something for him when when football comes back because i can tell you there's nobody who missed not being at the games as much as he did and <clears throat> I'm really devastated right now. So I want to um, I want to wish him, you know, well, that's just, I don't even know if that's the appropriate word, but I want to just say to Claude, you know, um, rest in peace to his family. You know, we're here for you. You know, um, it's a sad time. It's a hard time, especially when people pass away during this COVID-19 time. I think that uh, we all owe it to his family for there to be a lot of privacy for them. I know that at the moment it's going to be a big talking point because he was such a well-known guy. But, um, yeah, you know, we, we, we owe it to his family for them to, to have some peace at this time so that they can reflect um, <clears throat> on Claude. And, I, and, and I'm sure we're all going to go away and reflect on the life of Claude. And what I would say, guy with a heart of gold, genuine football fan, genuine Arsenal fan, the biggest Arsenal fan you'd ever meet, miserable because he loved Arsenal so much. <laughs> miserable. I said, go, Claude, why are you so miserable? And he's going, oh, I love this club. Robbie, I love... You've heard his stories. You've heard his stories. Ah, uh, it's a really sad day. Really sad day for football Really sad day for his family. Really sad day for all of us at AFTV. I'm sure all the guys that, um, the Claude and the Banksters that he worked with and all the other people that he worked with, you know, tirelessly doing videos and he do collaborations and he do stuff for everybody. Everybody's going to miss him. Um, so, Claude, rest in peace. Um... I think here on AFTV, we're going to take a couple of days to just kind of reflect on Claude's life. It's not, you know, I, I just feel right now, 
I'm not in the mood to do any videos apart from this one. Um, but Claude, rest in peace. Um, I also want to say a special message to Helen. You were brilliant last night. What you did, you were fantastic. You know, um, well done to you for, you know, when he was uh, at a bit of a low point. You, you you gave him a property to to live in. I know that he really appreciated that. He he said he really appreciated that. He loved the property that he was in. He was he was feeling he, his life was going to be on the upward curve. But I just feel that the lockdown didn't help him. You know, it didn't help his health. Um, he's a guy who wanted to be out and about. But um, what I want to just say is rest in peace, Claude. Never be forgotten in the world of football or here on AFTV. And um, we're going to miss you.